Now to set up the rig, which we're going to use to crack the ice. So we're going to start off by using the cut face tool. I'm selecting all cracked geometry. And I'm just going to add a slice anywhere on it. It doesn't really matter at all. Now I'm switching to wireframe view. And I'm going to create a locator. This locator will be connected to that cut that we just added. So to connect it to that cut, I'm going to win window, general editors, connection editor. Since I had the locator selected, it's already loaded as the output. And now I'm selecting our cutting, I mean our cut geometry. I am opening a hypergraph to connections. I want to select the node polycut that this cut plane is connected to. Well, it is a cut plane. And in the connection editor, I'm clicking reload right. And I'm going to now connect the locator to the cut plane center and rotation values. I find the locator's translation and I just click translation and now I click cut plane center and it creates a connection between these two. Same with rotation. Now that that's done, while I have this poly cut node selected, I'm going to make sure delete faces is checked. It will delete faces on the opposite side of the cut. So now if I was to select this locator and move it around, it will cut along the locator. Right now there's this big gaping hole in the middle of it and we can't have that since we intend to use this as a boolean difference and boolean this crack. So I'm going to use mesh fill hole. We don't want to delete history right now so basically from here on in we will not be deleting history on these objects. So now we have this basic rig set up. I'm going to move the locator all the way across so this cutting crack geometry will go into will be completely intersecting the slab of ice. So I select the slab of ice first. Now I'm selecting that geometry and I'm going to mesh lean difference. So now we have our crack. I can bring the locator back and as you can see our crack is animated. You'll see this little arrow down here. That's not, don't, you don't need to worry about that. That's just because at certain times the threshold will catch and it won't be able to figure out how the bleed supposed to happen, but the way we're animating it, it won't be a problem. So, that's it for the rig. The next part will be animation.